Hi friend Arena, Hills. welcome back to Dirty Be Playing Persona 5 Royal. What's up, Kasumi? Or Sumi, right? <laughs> Again. I wonder if one of these days I'll it'll probably click in my head at some point. But yeah, it's taken some time because, well, we thought she was Kasumi for most of the game. Uh, or I did. And anyone that's played this blind, surely. With Oracle Senpai around, progressing through the palace almost seems like a breeze. Sup, Akechi? Mm. A warehouse, eh? I bet there are plenty of... Well, that doesn't matter in the least right now. Plenty of what? Plenty of places you could kill me? Like what? Like... I don't know what the hell he's trying to say there, but I feel like it's something like that. Yusuke. Joker. Are there more shadows here now? Be sure to proceed with caution, Joker. What should I ask Yusuke to do today? Nothing for now. I might very well actually start making use of that system, funnily enough. Finally, so close to the end of the game. I very well might not as well. That warehouse was so full of boxes. Maybe it really was just like boxes that he was talking about, but for nefarious purposes, or maybe I'm just thinking he, everything he'd do is for a nefarious purpose, even helping us. In fact, I'm not sure what his angle is. It really does seem to be, I want people to be able to choose their own life generally and i want to choose actually no it's i want to choose my own life probably not really giving a fuck about anyone else but i want to choose my own life i think is what his angle is but it could also ha be there could also be an ulterior one there like aha i'll make him trust me again and then have and then kill him aha no um but i think honestly he's he probably is all too aware of what we could do and the fact that he's not really going to be able to kill Joker. Or, like, I don't know. Is he still boldly plotting like that? I guess we'll see, huh? The warehouse was so full of boxes. It kind of reminded me of how my room was. But yeah, it's interesting. This is a warehouse here. It says, and apparently it's called the Monitoring Prep Room. I really wonder what's going on here. Why is there a warehouse attached to this place? Like, what's in here? And why is that a thing? This is shady. And what are the freaking weird aliens? I I'm guessing it's like beings that God was able to create or something like that. I wonder what's going on here, man. I'm pretty sure I just saved like twice, but welcome to Paranoia, also known as Durgan Brain. Oh, I'm gonna save another time in a second because I just remembered, because, you know, again, welcome to Durgan Brain, that. Hold on, yeah, the Master Curry. I think you could only use that in here, right? So let's make use of that. There we go. Pretty sure that is not available on the menu. Ready? Let's of go, Joker. Items you have to use in combat, so. <sighs> dun, dun. This piano piece is really cool. Ooh, hey. This room looks awesome. Hold on, look over there. Security is even tighter here, apparently. They appear quite formidable. That means this place must be important. Let's take them out whenever we're ready. Interesting. What are these chat boxes? Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? What are all these monitors? I can feel it. Hmm. We will certainly be walking into a fight. Have you finished your preparations? All set. Indeed. Very well, let's go. So you dare defy his excellency? Let us pass. You shall not interfere with our master's work. Oh, Tam Lin and uh, Skithatch, I do believe, are these personas here. You don't have any skill that will hit it with its weakness is electricity. If we can use it, it Okay, so electricity and Skithatch. This enemy is tough. An Nothing. Okay. Persona. What question? Interesting that she can nuke her own Arcana persona. But, let's try to freeze Tamlin here. I don't know why I... Actually, wait, is it... Does it resist nuke or not? No, it doesn't. Actually, wait, does it? Uh, no. I could have done, uh... I could have done, um, a double with her, but... Oh. Electricity. It's okay. Curse, it's electricity. Mm. Okay, no light. Okay. Okay. No dark. Okay. 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 Okay.
strong and they're both strong to physical. So I'll have her. You know what? Let's use a um, ailment item. Those are handy, I started to realize. Quite handy in situations like this. I could probably just kind of like cheese it, but I don't want to right now. I want to play smart today. And I want to do that more often in general. Also, I just realized my console sound is full, so I'm gonna p turn that down because I'm afraid that it's maybe been drowning out my voice. Anyway, let's start with the medium chances. There we go. Did I accidentally do a, t a high chance? I think I did. I think the L's are high and the S's are, s are low, I think. Lightning. Unfortunately, I done got none. Me no got no lightning. Uh, I do have ailments, though. Wait, hold on. I could have also technical it with Psy, couldn't I have? Didn't I? Don't I have Psy on Joker somewhere? I'll have to look at that. Yeah, I'm starting to realize my skill matchups are a little bit weird. They could be better. This is my other self. Quite better, actually. Quite, you know. Joker could have more things they don't, at least, you know. I'd probably just have to not use whatever new shiny persona I've got, which I'd rather do that, so yeah. I'm mostly trying to continue working on the compendium, and right now we're over-leveled, so it's just kind of working, regardless of if I've really got all the tools I would probably need if I was normal level here. Wait, hold on. Uh, she's just weak to dark, so let's do that at least. Or, or just resistant to dark, I should say. There we go. Oh, yeah, and Dizzy is nuclear, um, technicalable. That's a word now. Interesting combat here. But yeah, she did it. Very nice. Man, that's my girl, is what Joker says there. She's really fucking hot when she's badass like this to him. And to me. <laughs> hmm. I believe that takes care of that. So, where are we now? This room seems very different to the rest of the palace. It was more heavily guarded as well. Well? Could this be some sort of surveillance room? The monitors are displaying various rooms within the palace. Wait, were we being watched this whole time? I don't know about that. I see. Yep, I knew it. This room's more of a mainframe than a monitoring system. Interesting. So why is it called the monitoring room? Or is it like so thorough that it's a mainframe is what she's talking about? Yeah, okay, it seems like that's the case here from this line here. All sorts of information is being collected here from across the palace and getting converted into raw data. Data collection, but what for? Data data collection, but what for? Okay, Wait. that's that's a better way of saying that. That's kind of what I mean by when I say that the line sounds wrong, and you'll hear me say that kind of thing often in games. I just noticed that this is, you know, it's mostly inflection. Inflection could be better a lot of times in voice acting. You know, this room ain't got any sort of way forward. Think we gotta find another path somewhere else? Now, of course, inflection is something that all humans whiff from time to time, but if you're actually acting something, you would, th and, and you're being, you know, monitored on how to act it, like, it, I would feel like the inflection would be right, but a lot of times, I just can intuitively sense that inflection could be better in some way or another. Actually, it looks like there's a path beyond those cables. We're sure not using it as is, though. Interesting, so those tentacles are... Cables. Interesting. The cables that collect data? Hmm. Oh? What? Is, oh, what is it now? Oh? Oh, what is, it, what is it? What is it now? Something like that. See, again, it's also usually a little tough to be like, what 
inflection should be there. And I think that a lot of voice actors and even voice directors also have that issue. But, I don't know. I kind of would love to be a voice director for stuff like this, because I feel like I have a knack for it. Just because a lot of times I just feel like I notice things are a little off. I'd like to at least be a voice director for some sort of YouTube project in the future once I get big enough and, you know, that'd be cool. Is that Mementos? Yep, yep. I've tracked the location all the data is being sent to. Looks like it's going into, men into Mementos. We might be able to make some headway if we investigate this location. That reminds me, Lavenza did tell us. Dr. Maruki is utilizing Mementos to distort all of reality. Even still, are those really data cables? Let's go check Mementos. Agreed. Sticking around here isn't going to help us any. Alright, let's get out of here for now. Let's see if a Mementos trip does us any good. We 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 found a safe room, infiltrated the auditorium, and got things and stuff. We got some exploration done, but I don't think we're really at a turning point yet. There's no point in straining ourselves. We should view any progress as any progress as a win, no matter how little. Assuming that we'll be exploring again soon, I'll be sure to stay in shape until then. I mean, you're sure to stay in shape all the time anyway, Sumiri. I don't think we have to worry about that. But thanks for the uh, the sheer, you know. I was not expecting. I was I was expecting to be in there for a while and a half. Hmm. I was not expecting to be booted out like that. I mean, granted, there was always a point in earlier palaces where that was the case, but I wasn't expecting it to be that soon at that point. Well, actually, I'd say that soon, but I feel like we've been in there for a while, or at least I have. I knew I made the right choice to see me, Ray. I've got an eye for talent. Hell yeah. I mean, hell, you did also realize that Joker had some chops, and it's very clear that that's true, so I honestly think, yeah, you do. That's something that I don't think Morgan is being overconfident about, frankly, having an eye for talent, but a lot of things he's, he's overconfident about. <laughs> Good work, good work today, but you've got school tomorrow. Don't stay up too late and end up dozing off. Or I could just doze off at school anyway. Let's do it. I mean... <laughs> I mean, we are supposed to be rebels, right? Right? Anyway. But don't ask me, I'm just... I was one of those ultra-slacker kids in high school for a lot of reasons, frankly. Mark, got up. Still a lot we don't know, but we're not totally helpless here. Let's rest up so we're ready for tomorrow. We will we... <sighs> Enter Mementos. But I can't, like, go do that right now. I bet he's not even gonna let me go downstairs. I didn't think so! Sleep a dark and go wee! I'd just like to thank everyone for letting me join the team. I'm glad to be here. Ah, we're glad to have you, Sumi, right? I'll do my best to pull my weight. Oh, I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm sure you'll do awesomely. We're happy to have you, Dalo. Yeah, welcome. Uh, everyone's so well. I love these wholesome moments, damn it. I love these so much about these games. But you can loosen up a little, okay? Don't worry about being so formal. I'm sorry, I'll try to address that in the future. Still sounds pretty dang stiff to me. I was about to comment on that myself. But Futaba said it better than I could have, I think. At least, you know, in such short notice. <laughs> That's even stiffer! And now she sounds like some kind of samurai. <laughs> I kind of like this. You know why I like this kind of. I've started to realize I like stoic girls, kind of. And like, very. I don't know. I've started to realize that I like the kind of traits in a lot of these characters that are very, um. I don't know. Rigid and, um. Mature. I guess, is is maybe another way to say that. I think that's why I find this adorable. But there's a lot of, like, actually, like, super cutesy stuff that I just kind of find sweet, but not really, like, ah, cool. Uh, like, like, I like the character more. It's more just like, okay, she's, like, that really cutesy character, cool, I guess. But, like, in, 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 in Samira's case, I, I really do find this kind of thing really, 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 really funny. And great. I don't usually like a lot of the overly cutesy stuff, which is not this. This is not what I'm talking about when I say that. In fact, it's hard to come up with examples right now, but yeah. I think y'all probably have a feeling about what I'm talking about. 
And if you don't, I guess you could ask in a comment and I could try to elaborate. Alright. Uh, hey, either way, we got another teammate now. That's awesome. Indeed. We're we're glad to have you as well, Ushisawa-san. Well, as long as we're dropping the formalities, you don't have to bother with the honorifics. If it's okay, I'd just like everyone to just call me Samire. Daw, cute. You're sure? In that case, welcome. Once again, welcome to the team, Samire. Daw, Thank you. Da. Oh, about tomorrow. I'm going to that Mentos place. I think that was the name. That's an option, but we still have plenty of time. Oh, but I'm wondering for the free time, what all are we going to have to do? Are we going to have access to all our, all our confidants from the base game? I would kind of be surprised pleasantly if that was the case, because I thought that I wouldn't have any more time. I thought that this expansion wouldn't really give you any time for that, but maybe that's not the case. But frankly, I will probably still be more inclined to do mementos until we are at a stopping point. I have a feeling, I think it was hinted at earlier that we're gonna have to do this on the last day, I, like as in finish it on the last day. But um, we'll see about that, if that's actually the gameplay case like it was for, I think it was just specifically Size Palace? And maybe it was Shido's turn. No, 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 it was not Shido's. I remember having a long period after Shido's, after I think about it. Thought about it for even one millisecond, but... Um, but yeah, I think it was Size Palace. We had to wait for some reason until the last day. Um, I do wonder if it'll make us do that here. But regardless, I mean, I'm still going to have a lot of waiting time. And I, I just would, ra I just, I, I, I enjoy completing the palace first and then having all that time to do whatever with. And that's what I'll do. I'll just uh, get to wherever we can get to first with, you know, whether it's stopping Maruki entirely or getting to the calling card point. Uh, we'll see. <sighs> yeah, that's our leader's call. We'll be counting on you more than ever, Dirk. I got your backs, guys. I'm ready anytime. Dual. Hmm. We've got more firepower now, but our target this time is much more powerful than we've any we've faced so far. We should probably get ourselves as ready as possible, like Yusuke said. I think we're more than ready because we're over leveled as fuck. And by the way, I'm going to. But you know, despite that, I'm still going to do. You know what? Have I bought things for my friends? I don't think Morning. I have. I'll at least do that. Oh, hey, Mishima. Is it me or is Mishima's hair different? I can't quite pinpoint exactly how. I think he's just grown it out more. It's more shaggy, I feel like. But yeah, everyone looks a little different in this expansion. Um, I like it. I like the touches here. And by the way, I love his coat. I like his hoodie there. I like everyone's coats. They're very stylish, generally. Uh, I certainly love Jokers a lot. I love, 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 love Makoto's, but I just generally really enjoy how she dresses. Um, anyway. About the phantom, uh, about the fan site requests. If I find any this year, I'll be sure to pass the info on to you. Thank you, Mishima. Sounds good. <laughs> and, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. There wouldn't be fan site requests because Mementos is gone. But this is Maruki's reality where he still wants to be the fan site admin. And as far as he is remembering right now, Mementos never got fucked. And thus we still. Mementos never got destroyed. And thus we still have. I mean, and, and technically, Mementos is still around. And that's why we're dealing with Maruki. But it's a kind of a different form of Mementos. It's interesting. But, um. Uh, but like yeah mementos and in the form that he knows it with all the ability to have requests um is gone but you know there aren't as many posts now but it looks like there are still plenty of people in trouble oh counting on you fan these dispense justice hecky mm. There's still people in trouble out there. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Maybe they're really... Hold on, can we literally... We have more access to Mementos again, don't we? But how is it this time, I'm wondering. 
That could mean there are still some targets left in the Mementos. Wait, hold on. Can we even go back there again? I guess maybe it wasn't destroyed, destroyed. Like, literally, has it reopened in the subway? Or am I thinking about something else different? Whether there are or not, we'd better be prepared for anything. Who knows what might happen? Okay, it's looking like there's gonna be... I have seen some footage of literal, like... Oh. Driving around in the Morgana bus and Akechi doing insane navigator lines. Um, so I'm guessing, yeah, there is memento sections, but where are they and what are they exactly? And when are they? Uh, morning. Hey, morning, Dirk. Misha McCoon. Sup on. On hug for seven eternities. Yeah, she was really enjoying just, you know, being able to still be with Shiho here. But, well, that's not a thing anymore. On hug. Hey. Hey, if it's okay with you, then... Can I see you after school? I'll be in the usual spot. Okay. Alright, thanks. Uh, I can go on ahead. Oh, sorry, we're all good now. Then. I'm gonna go and see you later. Uh, on hug, go, Mishima, hug, everyone, hug. Does the school's atmosphere seem different to anyone else? Atmosphere being... A general mood, I suppose. Everyone seems so happy. Yeah, because everyone's reality has been changed to, you know, be exactly what they wished for, but, well, is that really... I mean, it's ri the morality of this is very shaky. The more I decide on a morality of this, the more I'm like, every time I do, I'm not satisfied, you know, not very long after. I keep just trying to, in my head, what do I think about this? And I don't know, there's too many fucking variables. Like... Some people probably would rather this than choose their own reality, but then I really think it just, you you should be able to choose. Like, if this kind of thing was possible, it should be an opt-in thing, not what Maruki's doing, is what I would say the morality of this is. But, well, that's not the case here. He's enforcing this on people, so it's interesting, man. That and also, there's a lot of variables. Maybe... Well, they might wish for someone to come back. Maybe, consciously, logically, they don't actually wish for that because they know that so many other things that they gained would be lost if... would not have happened if they had not lost that thing. Uh, like, for example, like everyone forgot, you know, the time they spent with Joker because the Phantom Thieves were tied to their responses to their trauma, you know? So, in Makoto's case, she forgot she was his girlfriend, for example. Like, that's oof, man, you know? So, in the cases like that, yeah, Baruki's in the wrong here, as far as I'm concerned. Like, the more I think about it, I do think that is the case. It's interesting. Yeah, he, some of them even see, seem even, like, entirely new. Some of them seem like entirely new people, even. I've been seeing it, too. You think this is Dr. Maruki's influence? Yeah, it must be. If their stories and circumstances seem radically different from before, it's a safe bet. Shit, this is all so crazy. Dirk, let us know if you want to go to Mentos. Oh, don't fucking worry. We will. Today. I can be at the hideout anytime. Hideout? What's up? Where are you all gathering? Oh, that's right. At Leblon. Is that best? It's a public cafe. That's cool. No customers around anyway. We're there. All we're always there, anyways. We're there, anyways. Then settled. We all meet up at the block. It. It's interesting, though. I think. I think. Sumire is right to be cautious about that. Like. You know. Is it really smart for us to. You know, meet in such a public place, regardless of how popular it is or not. You know, and always consistently be there. You would probably, uh, I would probably argue that it's not, that it'd be safer to have more secluded places and or places that we switch up between. But, you know. And then it's settled. We'll all meet up with the blonde. Okay, I'll see you there. Hey. See you all there. And make sure you're, all, you're, you're we're all socked up on important supplies. We don't want to run out of something when we need it most. Indeed. I will go ahead and... Buy, um, more medicine and we have palms, then. And I'll actually not record that this time, because what I've started to realize is... 
A lot of times, I end up shopping, right? And shopping is normally pretty boring content, and I still think it's probably pretty boring for a lot of y'all. But what I- but then I end up rambling on top of it. And I end up saying things I'd rather keep in the video. So it's just a lot of preparation because I'm talking and pausing like this so much. And I'm starting to realize that those talks are best saved for like, you know, when I can do them when I'm actually doing more, you know, um, needed gameplay so that y'all are hopefully more engaged. Because this is not just a TED Talk series, although that is kind of what this has become to a degree, because there's a lot of stuff I like to just be able to ramble about here, and it's kind of why I wanted to do a YouTube channel to begin with. However, a huge part of it anyway, but regardless, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut out, um, prep from now on is, what, is all I'm really saying. We have until February 3rd, let's say focus the year. Stay focused here. Mission starts. Man, that's kind of nostalgic at this point. For a lot of people, I bet. Mission start and the chalk erases. Oh, that's right. Didn't it seem like Lady On had something she wanted to say? I think she's at underground at the underground mall right now. Why don't you go check up on her? That's right. Yeah, I'll do that first, at least. Uh, actually, wait. That's probably her, right? Oh, um, oh. Oh! Do we actually have the ability to just continue with... Because this way, there's a lot of actual space in this brand new set of days. Unless... I'm just checking, but you're not having any side effects, are you? Well, as long as you're healthy, bye. Let me move on to Kenny Miller Stronger. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah! Hold oh man, that's tempting then. Later. Okay. To Kemi hug. So yeah, we just have a bunch of extra days to do confidants. I wasn't expecting that. Fuck yeah, because that's the normal confidant plot for her. Okay, I love that. I might be able to max out at least a couple more people that way. That's awesome. Anyway, um, but let's actually go around the school and um. And listen to more people say things, though, first. Man, the Phantom Thieves and Akechi Coom are the talk of last year. What do you think's in store for this year? I bet it's going to be completely normal and uneventful. Even the news is super tame. We do got to start taking college entrance exams this year. It's probably better for us that there's no drama. Hmm. But yeah, it's just, there's just more school day. It's, it really is the same formula. I was expecting it to be radically different. As far as, like, you no know, confidence or anything, either. You know why I was thinking that? Because Persona 3 Fez and 4 Golden have an expansion like this, but it's not more of the same formula. It's always very changey-uppy. Um, but not in this case. Doesn't it seem like good things have been happening a little too often lately? Did the start of the new year change our luck? My luck certainly has. I find nothing but limited items now. Even with the start of the new year, you're still all about these limited items, huh? So what kinds are there? There's, there's, there's got to be brand new limited items for this, too. I'm liking the thoroughness of this. And that there's just more of the... I'm starting to really love the five gameplay loop, especially. So I'm really glad I get more of it here. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to just be a big old dungeon with different, like, you know ways of playing, basically. Like, three and... and golden... Uh, three and fours update, you know, uh, expansion versions, or whatever you would call that, are... Uh, have, I mean. First, there's the Osechi chocolate, which is sold at the convenience store. It's so pretty, it's almost a shame to eat it. And next is the special Chimaki, which is sold at the Chinese bun shop in Kijijoji. I happen to be a regular there. That juiciness is practically addicting. Wow, both those sound amazing. Looks like this year is off to a great start. Duh. There are probably tons more if you take the time to look. Ah, uh, being surrounded by limited food items and splits. <laughs> Whatever you're into, lady. I kind I like her hair, by the way. I always love ho shorter hairstyles and girls like that. I love tomboys. What do you? Something. I love tomboys and simple hairstyles. So you know, makes sense, right? 
Like, right now, my biggest video game crush is Giovanna from Strive. Guilty Gear Strive. D damn, damn. Anyway. I have something. <laughs> eh. I guess I should say waifu crush, huh? <laughs> People seem to have calmed down about the Phantom Thieves. What do you think about them? Uh, they're heroes. I see that their actions had a major influence on you, huh? Well, I won't report the news without being influenced by the public. Honestly, I wish I could interview them in person, but <laughs> it's never gonna happen. God, man, only if we could- if only we could reveal ourselves to her, cause fuck. I would. If I were Joker, I would be like, hey, um, you're probably not gonna believe this, but I'm the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I can call them all up for you, but it would be dangerous to do this. So, yeah, no. Unfortunately, we're not doing that. That's not right. Um. Ah, I'm way better at like navigating my way around. Cause again, it's, it's it's a thing I've been practicing. I'm starting to really understand how important that is. I've obsessed over your yearbook photos. Okay, oh, wait, oh, oh, still the same thing. Okay, cool. So yeah, it really is just continuing everything from the original game. So there's a bunch of extra time in this mm -hmm. expansion. I like that a lot, actually. Because right. I always like time to do whatever the hell I want in these games, and god, this one gives it in spades way more than 3 and 4 do. Man, I'm really hoping for Persona 6, which I'm sure they're already developing. There's no fucking way they aren't. 5 sold like hotcakes and is selling like hotcakes, and now Strikers is, and, you know... Probably not near as much as this game did or ever will, probably, but it's still selling like hotcakes. Um, and Strikers is awesome, and they're still probably going to be making spin-offs of this game, but Persona 6 is on the horizon. There's no way they're not developing right now for that, especially because SMT5 is about to come out in November. They're probably winding down on that and really ramping up development on P6, because Persona is now their flagship fucking franchise right now. So, there's no fucking way. I'm really hype. Anyway. I've been scouted a lot recently. Could this be my high school debut? I'm not sure that's what this is. But really? It's not like you changed recently. Okay, so it looks like... She's been trying to become an idol, which... I don't know if you really want that life as much as these girls think they do. Because... It seems like, from a lot of the idols that we meet in these games, it's kind of a shitty life that's really busy and people are always trying to take advantage of you. And people always, you know, you're not allowed to date, like, freaking people judge you for everything and you're expected to be this perfect paragon of a human and if you aren't, fans get really mad about it. Um, and... I don't know how true this is, but there's a lot of themes of idols being sexually abused by, like, you know, like, bored by, like, you know, their, their higher-ups, you know, in order, f in exchange for, like, you know, more fame or, you know, favors and that kind of a thing. Like, that's disgusting. Um... And, I mean, we meet one of those guys in here, and it's a common theme. Is, does that happen in real life? If so, god damn, I hope that changes. I bet my eyelash and nail efforts are paying off now. Mm, sorry, I don't see it. Do those things make much of a make much difference? I can feel it. And see, that's the thing is that if if idols are just they're just supposed to be this pinnacle of beauty and like a perfect Japanese woman, I guess, and it's. But they're all young, and in high school, it's it's kind of creepy, man. And again, I just don't think that that life is anything good. They probably just want to be famous and have money, but... High school girls are naive enough that they probably don't realize that probably later in life they all regret being idols, I bet. Although I, I, may wa I wonder if maybe that isn't true for all of them. Anyway... No Haru up here. But I'm just kind of exploring the whole school right now. I'm trying to make sure I talk to people that have anything new to say. 
Because that's what you do in these Vigigams. Get that sweet, sweet lore and such. And yeah, this place really does feel like a school. Um, that, you know, a lot of students are attending in downtown Shibuya. So, you know. Actually, well, I don't know if this is downtown Shibuya. It's it's a pretty popula populated area. I know that much. We... Mm, we will we, 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 we. We, 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 we. Everyone's got smiles when I didn't think they used to before. Like these big wide smiles too. Uh, all the generic NPCs. Looks like we can't go past there. Yeah. I've just I've noticed that Royal has a lot of people here. I bet that I don't know if it was the girl or the guy, but I bet that they're dating now and that one of them Um you know really really had a giant crush on, on the other and really wanted to be with them. And there we go, we're finally having it happen. Um, that, that must be what this is supposed to represent here. Because I'm pretty sure that these people with big smiles are all supposed to be, you know, Maruki-affected people. So. Mm. Looks like we can't go past here. We can't go up there at all? That's interesting. Especially because we can go up on the roof on the other way. I swear to God that was not there before. That's really interesting. Unless it was, it might have been. Wait. Okay, yeah, we just went to the class. Was the was the practice building roof always closed off like that? Don't quote me. Hmm. I can feel it. But yeah, I don't remember ever going to the practice building roof, so very well might be. So is there usually a practice building and a school building? Because I know that that is a cut. Like, there's always a practice and school building in the schools in Persona games. And I feel like that's been a thing in other schools in Japanese things. And again, high schools in Japanese games, it's, it's just a thing. It's, they're just, they just have high schools in them. And high school car um, protagonists. It's just such a thing. Now, of course, it's not always, but like... I don't know if there's as many, if there's any trope in any other culture that is as pervasive as high school aged people in Japanese media. It's just such a thing. Anyway. Uh, okay, I keep going in. It looks like there's not going to be a lot of people around the, uh, the practice building, but I still want to check and make sure because I don't, I have not gone down to floor one yet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure there's no one to talk to here and here, and this is why, is because there is someone to talk to here, just to make sure of that. My team has been particularly high spirits this year. What happened? Same here. It's not just our team. Society seems to be particularly happy recently, too. The TV was saying something about this year being a super lucky one, um, but being too happy could be a detriment. De determination is important in a game. Interesting. Man, you, you haven't changed at all, even after the new year. Let's try to just appreciate the happiness. And see, I've noticed some people aren't changing. It's because some people don't wish for things to change. And that's what that's another mor moral sort of... What's the word? Quandary with... Uh, I'm not... Sort of a moral, like... I'm not sure what to call it, but it's definitely... Something, another flaw you could say in Maruki's logic. Because he's not making it, f he's not doing this from a logical place at all. And I think that's the reason that the more that you think about this, the less, the less his, I'm making everyone happy makes any sense. Because he's making it from an entirely emotional place. He's making this happen from that place, right? It makes a lot of sense. Clearly, he had a lot of things he wanted to change. He thought everyone was the same way, but... It's not quite true, and even if the part of them wanted that, another part of them very likely wouldn't. Like, honestly, right now in my life, I don't want to change anything. Really. Like, if tomorrow I could wake up 
and I could be in a very different situation. I don't know, even if that situation is the kind of things I've daydreamed about, I don't know if I'd want to. You know why? Because I'm finding a lot of personal power here in this situation I've got. And I'm actually pretty fucking happy today, and recently in general. Um, and it's just because I'm, I'm, I'm primarily focused on doing what I love. And every day is fun, and great, and he, and awesome, and yeah, and wow, wow. I'm not sure what to do about myself this year. Should I cling on to the hope that the fantasies will make a comeback, or should I just give up? Aw, see? And this guy's dreams aren't being fulfilled because the phantom thieves don't exist anymore. Come on, man. Don't lose hope. Because, hell, the fan things are coming back. Don't worry about that. We are back. You just don't know it. Yet. Looking forward to seeing apologies from bad people every day. Is that what I want? Well, I guess his will come true. And it's funny because his will come true regardless of Maruki. In fact, in direct opposition to Maruki. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is a problem that's going to impact my path. I'm going to need some time to figure this out. I'll get back to you. Very interesting person, this guy. He's always got really weird and eclectic things to say. And that, that, I'm sure that's kind of his thing. I mean, I guess starry-eyed students, you would expect odd things to come out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. Hello. Sensei, you, have you been in a good mood lately or something? You can tell. Starting this year, I'll be in charge of ministerial decisions for the school. Thanks to my hard work, alumni have been making more donations, and we've been attracting more talented teachers. I'm going to make the school a place that you'll be proud to attend, Doc Cute. Huh? Were you always this positive sensei? I thought you were more of the gloomy type. Actually, you don't look too well. Being enthusiastic is great and all, but are you eating and sleeping well too? Oh, it's just I've been so busy lately. It's because everyone needs me. And see, that's the other thing. You know, he's he has to be super busy because his dreams come true. And a lot of people would be. A lot of people have big dreams for what they want to be doing with life, right? And if those come true, you're going to be busy all the time, right? And that's kind of the... The reality of like people that do things for a living that you look at like wow he's doing what he loves for a living but that's a lot of work you know and that, that trust me editing and uploading videos is work i love let's playing but it's work you know but i'm doing it because i fucking love it and that's the point you're doing work that you love you know and if that means i have to forgo eating or drinking that's totally fine oh my god uh, yeah, see, this is another bad side effect of Maruki's everything's perfect now thing that is not actually that way at all. Because this ain't perfect. This guy could fucking collapse and die. Like, think about that, man. He's probably in danger of that right the fuck now. Because he just wanted to, you know, for himself to be successful, but success requires work. And now he's so busy, because exactly what he wanted to happen came true, and he's so busy that he can't fucking sleep, eat, or drink, or anything. Jesus, dude. There's a team using gym g the gym, yes, the gym right now. It looks like they're practicing extra hard today. But yeah, it looks like he's already kind of, like, loopy from not sleeping, because that's what happens... And it's pro he's probably in a lot of health danger right now. Very real, like, danger to his life. See it. Like, God, man. Anyway. Da -da -da -de 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 Either that or just danger of burning out anyway. Like, even though it's so weird, man. Either way, yeah, like, clearly the changes Murky's made to reality. Well, thing is, is that the other thing is, and that's a good example of it, Another Kavat, which is kind of related and also not to what we just witnessed, was is that like uh by the way I'm actually gonna start going back down. Uh going uh out of the school. I was gonna do some I was gonna go buy shit. Maybe I really will buy shit and ramble like this. No I won't, no I won't. Um Well, I'll start going that way and ramble. I feel like there is places I haven't been yet though. Okay, so I'll Try to remember to get those first. Um, thinky, Durgan, thinky, thonky, thinky. Okay, so we need to... Yes, we do need to go over to the other building. Okay. But uh, anyway, what I was saying was... Oh, uh, man, I lost the train of thought. Oof. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Um. So that teacher is a good example of this. A lot of people don't know... 
what they really want or need. They think they know, but if it was right in front of their face like that guy's, you know, not being able to sleep, you know, then a lot of times you start to realize that, you know, what you wanted might be... You might not have wanted it near as much as you thought, and also might have just been more detrimental than you would ever realize. And that's what's happening in a lot of these people's real lives right now. That's actually terrifying, because Maruki made their dreams come true. I really kind of like this, exploring what would happen if someone could snap their fingers and make everyone's dreams come true. Because that's basically what Maruki did. But, like, it's not all good, unfortunately. Because life can't be all good. At all. To, you know, like, that's just kind of the, the law of nature, right? Nothing can be all good. There is a balance, right? Which is why, when Maruki altered reality, he still didn't make life perfect for anyone. Anyone. Not even the people who might think their life is perfect right now. I'll give them a few months. They probably won't. How did you... How did you... How do you do on your mock ex How did you do on your mock exam this time? I got an A rank for the first time ever. I can't believe I failed the last one. Huh? You too? Now I feel like my top school's within reach. Really? Did you two study that much? Not at all. Actually, I've been fooling around. Could it be my hidden potential has been suddenly unlocked? Really? Could it be that simple? <laughs> no, he just wanted to slack off and still have good grades, and that's what Maruki did for him. Uh, it's kind of interesting, because again, there will be petty wishes like that too, right? A lot of these are actually pretty petty wishes, if you think about them, too, that are uh, being fulfilled here. Words and things. Have I, like... Hello, bakery. Hello there, is there something you'd like? Give me the yakisoba pot! Thank you very much. And it is Friday, so let's pick up one of those. You know what would be funny as hell? Focus. I don't think they're gonna do this. But I think it would make a lot of sense for this reality that Maruki's created. If every day they have extra Yakisoba Pond now. They're just able to make a bunch more all of a sudden. So that everyone can get the Yakisoba Pond. Every day. I just... I It would make so much sense for this reality if that were true, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Anyway! I'd be, I will laugh so hard if it does, though, and I'll be so happy about that, that I predicted that. Do you remember any t that target we had in Mementos? The day, the one about the mastermind behind the bullying? If the target is a student of Shujin, then they could be in nearby. We should gather some more, some information. But man, Takatoshi Hijiyama really would love for what I just said to come true. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, play 13 Sons of Stages Room. It's a really good video game. Okay. And one of these days, I will absolutely fucking lootly cover that on the channel because it deserves it so much. Isn't that the sc isn't the school right there? Right there, just past the ticket gate. You know, I want to say play the game on the channel instead of cover it because cover sounds really bored and boring and stuffy and like I'm gonna do a report on it or I'm gonna do I'm gonna report on it like it's a news thing, right? But uh, cover. It just really means for, for YouTube channels, like, I'm going to do content on this game. That's all that means. But, like, I just, I would rather say I'm going to be playing it on the channel. That's probably what I will be doing, is let's playing the game. But, regardless. Ugh. Covering sounds like I'm doing more of, like, a... More of, like, you know, a scripted style video on it, which... I, I will definitely do some of those in the future, I feel like. Probably. But, right now... And probably sooner rather than later, but right now, gameplay stuff. Hecky. Um. Serious station attendant. The platform to the line. Okay, so. What am I doing during. Okay. I am going all over the place. Alright, so. Before I go to the underground mall and talk to On, I will go get stuff. And I guess I will, in the end, go ahead and buy stuff and probably comment on camera just because. But I will not take a billion years this time, damn it. I promise. That's my goal right now, to not do that. Alright. So that means we need to go to uh, Central Street and 
Central Street is really handy because it has everything except Kakemi's store on it, which is very nice. Um, I'll be Velvet's rooming in a bit, but I want to make sure to buy weapons and armor for everyone first after selling all the treasure I just got. At good old Untouchable. What you got to say, military buff? Oh man, I can't recommend the yellow girl that came out at the start of this year enough. Hmm. The way you reload is so freaking cool. I can't believe I'll be able to get my hands on that model. Life is too great. Aww. Did it, did it, did He's a happy boy, because he's a nerd like me. He's about guns like I'm about video games. I love him. Alright. What's up, boy? You again? Yep. I need to ask him about modified model guns. And yep, because confidants are available now. Da 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 da. Da da da. Sounds good. I hold on, voice, 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 before I forget. I need to sell all treasure. There we go. Now, Ryuji. It looks like the top weapon is gonna be the best one, so I'm just going to buy the top weapon as long as there's an up arrow on it. How's that? Because yeah, it's looking like that is the thing that it is like the top. The best stats are going to be at the top, so I'm just going to buy all these for everyone. I'm not even going to read them just because I don't want to take up a bunch of y'all's time doing this for damn once. Champion. Only Victorian's ones can use that. Of course I read Makoto's one because I love her so much. Everything related to Makoto I just pay more attention to in this game. I think you might have realized that. I just realized that I just probably did the same thing. Also, that's worse. I probably just gave him a worse one, though maybe I didn't. Uh, anyway. Okay, I need to pay attention. Woo! Okay. Uh, okay, so. Either way, I, I don't really care what melee weapon Akashi has anyway. I'm not going to be using him. Alright, pistol is worse. What have we got? Okay, that's right. That's right. Every okay, Dirk's not gonna have anything new, but everyone else is. Except for Akechi and Kasumi. I also don't need to touch them at all. Because I bought stuff for her too, didn't I? Which one? You better not use it. Well I like Sounds good. That's what you like it. Alright, which one? Makoto Unlimited. See again, I just pay more attention. I actually read the name of that one. It's so funny. I love her so much. Right, anyway, which one? catchy. That is the that is worse. And let me guess. Let me just make sure it's Sumire's. Oh, it's better. And the yellow girl is the one for her. So no wonder he's talking about it because it's definitely a royal exclusive weapon because of the fact it's in this part of the game and it's for Sumire. Well, I guess the fact that it's Sumire alone would tip you off, huh? Anyway, right. it's for Sumire. Um. Okay. Okay. Protectors, more than likely Dirk's fine, and I'm not even gonna touch a catchy and Kasumi now that I know that to expedite this. De de I'm pretty proud of myself for not commentating super much during this because I just I just edited for context of why I'm talking about this, about like you know trying not to commentate too much during this part is because I just edited. The video for when you first really head into Maruki's when you when you first head into Maruki's to rescue Kasu when you actually it's the second or I guess you could say third because of you know the uh, the the earlier in the game thing you did with just Kasumi but like the part that you go into Mementos and you rescue Kasumi with a catchy alone. Uh, with just a, with just a catchy jo in Joker, and you're able to go here and to um, to Kemi's before you do that handily. Um, uh, yeah, I, I really rambled during that, and try not to do that here. It's basically all, right, all I was saying there. Do 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 do. All I was trying to say there. Uh, interestingly enough, we're good on those. Protectors. Right. I hope I didn't just buy worse stuff, but I'm, I have a feeling they'll be fine regardless. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's not That's new good. accessories. There, there can't be, right? Although, maybe. 
Although, no, yeah, it's just... Wait, hold on. I don't know if it, there's ever been null. Nulling all this stuff would be really nice. Unless there's boosts for ailments. Oh, actually... Hmm. That stuff might be nice, but... I get that all over persona. Yeah, for now, I'll just kind of not. Alright, uh... Alright, uh, and I'll just go ahead and... That'll, that's, that'll be all I do here. See you tonight, except probably not. Actually, absolutely not, because I plan... Actually, I, I have a feeling that On is going to be a time passer, and that she's going to... Her persona, her persona is going to evolve, so... Um, so tonight, I won't be... Today, I don't think I will be, because I will go ahead and talk to her. Um, but first, I will do... I, while we're here, Velvet Room things real quick. Again, I'm not going to commentate over this much. I'm not going to deliberate much. If there's new personas, I'll get them. And honestly, I'm just going to be focusing on new personas. And if I can't make any new personas anyway, then I won't do it. I won't do anything in here. Welcome That's my plan. Right now. But I have a filio. Uh, you know what? Okay. Fafir is one of my best boys, though, right? Well, okay, let's be honest here. He's got Atomic Flare, which is nice. He's got a lot of really good stuff. You got, you know, wind stuff. But, like, let's be frank here. You know, I'm more inclined to use... I've been more inclined to use Siebly. More inclined to use Haster here. Because he has Vacuum Wave, too. And I don't need Atomic Flare because I always have Makoto in my party and always will because I love her. So, yeah. New Persona. Do you truly choose yes, I do. In order life. to... In order to max out the compendium. And also, yeah, this way I don't have to get one of them. And frankly, if I don't have to go through that mini game that I'm just really, really bad at, just the more that I practice it, it almost feels like it just doesn't matter. I feel like it's honestly kind of random, but there's just, there's clearly rules to it. It's just, that just kind of fly over my head because of the logic behind them. It seems kind of flawed in my opinion. Anyway. You know, the, the, uh, the negotiation minigame, so... Getting these kind of personas this way is... Nice. So, that's the other reason why I'm just going ahead and doing this. Also, that I can give some really nice stuff. And I also might be able to directly make some, like... Even something higher than level 92 with it. Who knows? We'll see. Um, and also, I have not been using that, that particular persona either, so... Lots of factors there. Alright. It's being inflicted by ailments. Uh... That's because of wind skills, bless skills, amount of SP restored. Yeah, I just, I want to just go ahead and just... Now, granted, it doesn't mean I'm going to be using this guy, and that's kind of the, the, the caveat there. Caveat? Uh, let's go ahead and drain Nuke, because, yeah, he's already strong to Nuke, but now he drains it. Um... Inferno. What's the difference between Phantom Ray, Phantom Ray and Vacuum Wave? Severe wind damage to one foe, severe wind damage to all foes. Let's do Phantom Ray then, actually. Because, again, single target is just smarter for actually hitting weaknesses, which is knowingly what you use these elemental skills for in order to play well-ish. So, severe light damage to one, to one foe. Um, well, hold on. What does Demonic Decree do? Hold on. Curse attack that reduces HP of one foe by 50%. Mm. It's just a curse attack, right? It's not... Yeah, let's fucking... Actually, wait. Um. Man. I know I need a thun, so I'll just do this. Oh, boy. I'm gonna get my Aegon with it anyway, so I'll have a nice curse attack. And I know I didn't... Pass on a bunch of really good skills, but like... Miloa. Hmm, I suppose I'll be your mask. Together we shall drink, sing, and dance like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Ah, your Hermit Arconicov and I was bestowing new power upon Loa. My gun! Drain curse. Also, v tempted because having... Okay. Yeah, instead of life drain, because I really don't tend to use drain skills. Spirit Drain. Ugh, but if it's SP, though... No, you know what? No. Because... 
Because I tend to make SP items like a fucking fiend. So, yeah, I don't need that. And also, with an extra turn, they could be using to try to damage something or whatever. Uh, Chris Jensen being inflated with ailments. Yeah, nice, but uh, I'll be fine. Alright. What can you make, Loa? What, um, well, hold on. I just realized, uh, hold on. Not Hash Haster. What can you make, Loa? Nothing new. Can anyone make anything new? Uh, uh, Camerans and Sibali make the Lyle? Yeah, no. I don't even have Devil either. No, uh, Macabre and Siegfried make the Lyle. Belial. I'm definitely more yeet about. Yeah, let's just go Do ahead and sacrifice Siegfried in order to make that, because again, just, you know, filling out the compendium. That's what we're doing here. And it's fist skills by 20%. It's got ball bath. That's nice. Increase attack by 25% for ailment inflicted. Mm -hmm. Nah. A uh, high chance of a ally avoiding attacks with foes inflicted by ailments. Uh, so, yeah. And there's not even an ailment on this thing, though I could make it have evil smile, but eh. It's got egg on, so I'm not gonna give it an insta kill. I don't want to. Three things P cost of skills by half. Duh. Because again, I've already got. Strength and fist skills. Any other fist skill stuff? Duh, charge. Increase accuracy of vision for all allies. Masukaza, or maybe I should give it. There's full HP when KO'd. Yeah, for a Joker persona, that is a pretty big duh. But it just depends on if I end up really using it a lot. And let's be honest here. I'm going to be more inclined to use it if it has a lot of elemental stuff. Because I tend to just press R1 and be, and go with whatever, you know, thing it, it tells me I can use effectively right now. So, yeah. Can you make anything new, Belial? Interestingly enough, no. Can anyone make anything new that I'm interested in? Nothing new whatsoever. Okay, now... Let's try network fusing. Which persona will you send? Um, in front of this works. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we might be able to make some really big. Let's. I'm gonna honestly just. I'm gonna start with like my smallest boy though. What can I make out of Chimera here? Anything new? Nothing new. Again, I'm looking for new personas to fill out the art, the um compendium with. Um, but my 76, I can make a magician persona out of, so. And it's 86. It? So, yes, she I do wish to fuse that. Hand. Thank you. Uh, triple's effective charge cut to. Oh, 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 please give me charge then. Hold on. Here's damage from attacks and target weak. I hope I get charge. Oh, oh, it's gonna get charge. Ooh. Here's damage from attacks and target weaknesses. SP restores itself. That's tempting, but goddamn will of the sword, though. Here's damage. Decrease damage from attacks and target weaknesses. Triples effect of charge cuts. Oh, oh, oh my Jesus, that's gonna be myriad slashes of death. Um, and let's also make it the tankiest ass boy because by weakness, that's awesome. And drain curse. And abysmal surge. It's always nice to have some ailments lying around. And burn boost, I don't know if it's going to have fire at all, or else I would be tempted, probably, to do that. It would undoubtedly be granted a miserable power when it's born. As persona is born. Fuck yeah, I have a feeling I'll use this one. We'll see. Quite a bit, perhaps. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Heck ye, baby. Uh, I am Futsunushi. I am the god of swords which once conquered this land. I shall temper the blade of your heart. Just like Makoto tempers the blade of your dick. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. As your magician arcana confidence bestow new power upon Futsunoshi. I have charge, which is now effective times three, because that's and that's gonna be a death, especially with wave blade. Oh my god, c -c -c fucking loss. And, and also as a single target, just in case things are you know resistant or worse or um resistant or better to that. So, uh. Regenerate 3, yeah, I definitely want that anyway, because, like, freaking regenerates HP, hecky. But, yep, uh, Mirrored slashes by, because b b b Brave Blade and ch Charged times 3, I'm so hyped for that. 
Take the blow, but increase the damage by half. I think it's it's take the blow if, like, someone else is going to die. I do be reeve, I do be reeve, I do be reeve. Um, and I'm tempted to do that. Um. Um. Uh, increase attack, which is not... God. Mataru Kasha. Charge. And fuck you, Brave Blade. Just <laughs> destroy everything. I'm so hyped for that. Uh. So, with that in mind, and also I want it to keep being tanky, 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 and increases and a really high chance of critical, too. Oh my god, this thing's gonna be a death machine. I'm so hype. Auto Mataru. Automatic Ma Maraku Kaja. Let's see. Mataru Kaja's attack. Maraku Kaja's defense, right? Gosh, I don't remember right now. I think Maraku is. I'm tempted, man, but, like, what do I replace it with? Anything? I mean, I could replace it with Drain Curse, because I don't think it was, like... I don't think it was, like... Weak to Curse, but I think it was regular damage. But at the same time, at least it doesn't have weaknesses, right? Yeah. Okay. I hope I did the Curse and not the... Nuclear dead, but that's a monster. I'm so glad I made that. Make your selection. So check and see if it. Okay, I'm glad I can't make anything new, because you know, for you, you know, for no particular reason, I'm just gonna. Now, as long, of course, you know, just if this. it's like resistant or worse to physical, if it's like if it if it just nulls physical or something, or I actually resistant is probably fine, but like if it's like nulls or drains physical. Then, like, I won't use it, but god damn, that, that's too much power for me to just not want to see if I can destroy almost everything with it. Because I might be able to, because holy shit. Like, god. It's got a high chance of critical. I'm so, too, like, on top of just, I will be able to murder everything. I'm so hoi. Okay. Let's see. Um, especially things that are, like, and also, I won't be using a bunch of his SP. Except charge does take quite a bit, but... Like, if it's just charge, like... Man, I'm hoip. Uh, Persona. Uh, Futsunoshi! Brave Blade. And I'm hoip for this mofo. He's also my highest level thing right now, too. Oh, uh, other than Messiah Picaro, who I will certainly be keeping. Uh, for a while. But yeah, um... And... Do I make items and things out of things? I wonder. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Awaken your new That's definitely not the mind. same one I think. Wait, hold on, no. I haven't been using that, but I don't think I will. I don't think I have a reason to, really. You trained them fine. Actually, wait, doesn't that give you resistances? That might actually be worth looking into for if any of my like endgame ones has a weakness. And it's like one of the le one of the less like, super important weekend end game ones, maybe? We'll see about that. Um. I was doing something. Oh, yeah. Awaken your new self. Itemize. Persona. Uh, it says create new personas, but you can do a bunch of other things besides just create personas. You can create items out of personas, and you can also strengthen one persona with another. Uh, you know what I could do? I just kind of realized. Instead of doing this, instead of itemizing, I'm probably not going to use most or all of these items, right? I'm probably not gonna. But you wish to strengthen it. Let me look here. Um, because um, like for example, Belial here. The more I think about this, the more this might be not an idea. But Hashter's got holy shit stuff. Could get Abyssal Eyes soon. Let me look at the skills things are going to get. Like, I don't think... Okay, yeah, he's, like, max. Um, oh, she's going to get Salvation. Hold on. And she's 88. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I feel like Messiah Picaro... Because, you know, the higher level it is, the more you're going to get out of it, right? So, like, let's be frank here. Am I going to use Messiah Picaro very much? No. You know why? Uh, Don't I have a light with something else? And if even if I didn't, I have Kasumi now. And I've got the I say I've got the um, 
I've got... Seabilly's C- got the ice damage and freeze power death doom covered. So the more I thonk about... And also, this one does not have freeze boost. That's mainly what I use ice damage for. So... Yeah. The more I thonk about it, I actually want to get rid of Messiah Picaro. Kind of. I don't end up using him very much. I keep saying, oh, I'll keep him. But it's just because he's he's 95 and he's a special DLC persona. That's why I want to keep him. And he's a P3 persona. I like P3. Who doesn't like P3? Except for dumbasses. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you don't like P3, you have valid reasons for it. I'm not saying, you know, actually... You know what? All reasons are valid. Just like something, goddammit. That's what I'm saying right now. I will sometimes feel like that's not true. But... I still feel like that's generally the principle I feel like I should abide by. Words. Um, I kind of want to itemize Chimera after this. But I have a feeling I might... Let's see. Belial, what do you need? What are you... Okay, you're going to get my my Iga on. Having a multi-target just in case would, might be nice. Um, yeah, what's, what, 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 yeah. Seabully was going to get Salva- Salvation, right? That's going to be really nice. To have on Joker. Abyssal Eye might be two. Uh, Futsunushi. I don't want to know. But again, like, uh, but yeah, everything here is lower level than this. So this will work for all these, but like, um, Belial, Mygon, Cert. Nothing. Okay, so, um, I'll get Sal- Salvation. I bet that's her last item, but she'll also be beefier, so that'll be nice. Last. So, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Who should I use strength in? Seably. And I will sacrifice Messiah Picaro. It seems it would produce a fair result. Heck ye. Dadu. God, she's hot. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Salvation. We restores HP and cures non social elements for all allies. Five one revives. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep the revive. So I'll probably get rid of Makoga on because I'm probably gonna have Kasumi in my party now. I really like her. Or Sumi Ray in my party now. I'm gonna. I really like her. Uh, just in general, like my main party right now is probably gonna be Makoto, Sumi Ray, and another person, depending. Probably. So yeah. Uh, your persona is inheriting the power of the sacrifice. Firm stance. Take the blow to- Yeah, I want to do that too. I want to have that too. Um, let's do... Definitely going to keep Drain Bless. Uh, I still want Invigorate 8. Invigorate 3, because that's noise. Automaraku would be noise. Uh, Blazing Hell would be- You know what? Um, she's the dam- The ice damage person. Um... I hope I have fire on someone else, but if I don't, I can just, like, switch on into my party, right? Like, she's... I use her to use, you know, to freeze things with. Because she's not set up to do cool stuff with fire. She's set up to do cool... He- cool, get it? Um, <clears throat> stuff with ice. I apologize for that pun. It was awful. Um, please kill me for that. I'm just kidding. Um, Okay. Anyway, you can't strengthen it more than once, I just realized. At least in a, in a time, in a session, probably. Convert to Persona. Alright, um, and let's go ahead and convert Chimera. And maybe Cert as well. Just to not have them around, because of the free slots, man. Um, uh, Belial... Actually, maybe I'll keep Cert around. Just in case I can make ridiculous shit with it later. But yeah, Futsunushi has to receive a cert. And I'm going to Artemise these two. Because I don't tend to use them. Actually, wait, hold on. Do I have fire? Oh, yeah, I've got fire on him. Yeah, I've got fire on, like, several people. But, like, do I have... Like, do I have electric on any of these people? Tell me I do. Did I do that? Because I... I could just switch Ryuji in if I need to. But I don't think I need to. It seems it would become but a skill. Belial point. doesn't have it anyway, does he? So, here we go. Giving Nanudu, Mamudu, and oh, I mean, just just to get rid of, just to like not have this guy around because I want to make sure that I have slot slots. All right. 
And Chimera. And Gnome Fire is going to be nice too. And I'll keep everyone. I think I might make Sibeli my main. Especially because, again, my Joker loves the hell out of Makoto. But we'll see. Anyway. Did you change May luck be on your side? I'll go back. Indeed. But yeah, I like that you can still keep doing your confidants here. I wasn't expecting you to, like I keep saying. Because I really wasn't. Um. Persona. Um, but yeah, like, do I want to. Like, it's probably. My default doesn't matter, because I'm just going to R1 for a lot of situations anyway. Uh. And just, you know, use whatever it points me to. And whoever it switches me to. Um. That's also gonna be weird, but I kind of want to persona that kind of, I guess, represent Joker. And while that'll be death, Sibley's hot, and she has because she's more situational though. Like this one's more utilitarian because as long as they're not, fu yeah, I'm gonna keep him as my main. But yeah, look at him, he's awesome. And also, I just, I really, I really like how cool he is. Look at how badass he is. He's like, a metal dude, he's just, like, chilling there with swords and floating up and down. He has a lot of bandages on him, but he doesn't give a fuck. He's so strong and tough. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Like, look at how strong and tough he is. Look at that fucking brave blade and that fucking, like, man. The con the sheer combination of Matara Kasha, freaking charge, freaking... And that's exactly enough turns, because you Mataru Kaja, and then you charge, and then you Brave Blade, and then you wreck all the face in the universe. Like, Jesus, dude. Anyway, um... <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Alright. I'm Hoyt. So, uh, 